thank you all for coming out on a chilly night tonight, and uh, we're going to get our program started. I'm going to go ahead and start with uh, some of the, the standard things I've got to go over. The first thing being uh, any types of uh, video or pictures that you guys take, uh, please just keep those amongst yourselves because we have copyrighted uh, music that we're going to be singing tonight. Don't post them on social media, that kind of thing. It's just a standard uh, thing we've got to give before our concerts. The, uh, the title of our, um, our presentation tonight is Salute to Our Veterans. And uh, I, got, I have to tell you, this is a, a very special and amazing show. Uh, you're going to be very excited tonight. Uh, you're going to be very proud of these uh, young men and women that we've got coming in right now. I want to uh, thank all of the first grade teachers, classes tonight, Mrs. Beal's class, Mrs. Clark, and Ms. Zimmerman. I want to thank their IAs, our custodians, Mrs. Gentry, Mrs. Conrad, Mrs. Brady, Mrs. Belpedio, and Mrs. Howard. I'd also like to thank Mrs. Van Dyne. Mrs. Van Dyne retired last year. She taught here for uh, many years, and, uh, and she comes back almost weekly to help our students out. She does a fabulous job. Uh, our office staff, Luke Wortley, and the rest of our Columbia family, uh, when it comes to putting a program like this together, it requires a lot of moving parts and schedules, and uh, everybody just comes together and, and works together to make it a success. I'd also like to thank the following middle school helpers, Ashley Clark, Riley Elliott, Angelina Friels, Adrian Halterman, and Jacob Spencer. They're here tonight to assist uh, for dirt, uh, certain portions of our show. I'd also like to thank Monica Clinton and the men and women from the American Legion for their help. Or is it, I'm sorry, Clinton. Uh, and the men and women from the American Legion for their help with the flag holding ceremony that we have uh, for you this evening as well. We have got a ice cream program after the show. It will be in the cafeteria, which is directly behind you. Uh, our PTO is a wonderful organization. If you're not very familiar with our PTO, uh, they fundraise throughout the year, and then they provide uh, different types of supplies uh, and materials to our teachers and to our students. Uh, it's a wonderful organization. If you're interested in uh, being a part of that, we can, we can help get you going on that. At the end of our program tonight, um, I ask that everybody just stay seated until we get all of our young ones off the stage and back to their classrooms so we can uh, have you pick them up at their classrooms. You guys go out in the hallways while they're out in the hallways. It gets kind of confusing. So if you could just wait just a few minutes, I'll let you know once they're all back and I'll dismiss you and we'll be good to go. I want to thank RTC. They come down. They support all of our events. Uh, this presentation tonight will be recorded on Channel 4, and uh, it will also be available through RTC. If you would like a copy of that, you can purchase a copy. I've got to thank Mrs. Weaver. Uh, she spends a lot of time with these kids, and this is a process that involves months of preparation, and she does a fabulous job working with these kids. After tonight, I think you'll understand a lot more how much, how appreciated she is because what she's able to do and create, uh, and in this case for our veterans, uh, is absolutely spectacular. Mrs. Weaver, I want to thank you. And if we could just give her and her staff a round of applause. This particular um, program holds a special place in my heart, and uh, for those of you that are out in the audience, uh, the veterans that are out there, uh, I personally would like to thank you for your service. Uh, it is uh, it's something that, uh, you know, that you, you can't receive enough thanks for, uh, but I can just tell you that uh, I, I personally appreciate everything that you've done. Uh, you can relate to this in that uh, if you've been in the service, you, you know that uh, it's, very, it's a very difficult time. There are very difficult times that you go through. There's always somebody there to support you, whether it be your wife uh, or your family. And um, I want to thank, personally thank all of the family members, the service members, because uh, without you guys, uh, we, we couldn't do our jobs uh, during the times that we needed to. And Mom, I've never personally thanked you in, in public, but uh, my mother's here from Birmingham, Alabama, and uh, she's been that rock for me during my military career, my military deployments, and 
I just want to thank you for uh, for being here tonight and uh, for being such a wonderful. Person. We have. Uh, I promise, I'm almost done. We're gonna let these guys sing. I heard someone laugh. <laughs> I, I want to recognize one other, uh, or actually two other people real quick. Uh, we have a special guest tonight, and uh, Tim Clement, if you could stand up, please. Uh, Tim, you'll notice, is in uniform, and uh, he just got in uh, the, the States and in Indianapolis not, not but a few hours ago. Uh, came straight back up here, and uh, he uh, is a, uh, you're in the Navy, correct? Yes, sir. And, uh, and he has been serving in uh, Djibouti, Africa. Uh, he just got back and uh, was picked up and, and uh, made it up here, and uh, I'd like to give you a round of applause for him. <laughs> Your mother is Monica, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Monica is also a veteran of the Navy, and uh, I would like to recognize her as well. And something that I, I, I like to do is uh, I've got two special seats for you two if you guys would like to come up and, and have a seat up here. Uh, we'd be honored to have you up here front row with uh, with our kids. So if you could do that. Glad to have you, glad to have you back. And uh, lastly, I uh, the the first time that I was up here for a Veterans Day convo, uh, it was an honor. They they had these nice seats set up for me out here and. Uh, I, as I sat around, I, I really enjoyed watching the kids, but the, the part that I missed was being able to see the other veterans out there. Uh, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to give my seats up tonight, and I'd like for Richard Dawson and his wife to come up here so you can see your granddaughter a little bit better. I know that your family is right there. You're only going to be two, seat, two uh, rows in front of them. But you guys can take my seats right there. Are these two available right now? Okay. Take these two right here. Those will be my seats, and then those seats right there, they can uh, fill up with what you had those reserved for. So, um, I'd like to thank you for this. Mr. Snyder is done. Clap for that, right?
Mrs. Clark and Mrs. Zimmerman. We have come together to honor those brave men and women who have served or are currently served. Please join us as we celebrate through songs, poem, and dance.
Arts class for giving us sign language for that song. And thank you to Mrs. Conrad for teaching the sign language. November is a perfect time for us to show our gratitude to those around us. It is also the perfect time to be thankful for our country and all the freedoms and rights that we have. Please listen as we share with you the song, It's Thanksgiving Time. Featuring the solo by Haley Cox, Kennedy Perry, and Alicia Todd and Alexis <laughs> Thank you. 
has blown our flag as these men and women from the Balkan region, region lead us in flag voting sin. <laughs> Flag-folding ceremony represents the same principles on which our country was originally founded. The portion of the flag denoting honor is a canton of blue containing the stars representing the states our veterans served in uniform. In the armed forces of the United States, at the ceremony of retreat, the flag is lowered, folded in a triangle, and kept watched throughout the night as a tribute to our nation's honored dead. The next morning, it is brought out and at the ceremony of Reveille, run aloft as a symbol of our belief in the resurrection of the body. The first fold is the symbol of life. The second fold is a symbol of our belief in the eternal life. The third fold is made in honor and remembrance of the veteran departing our ranks who gave a portion of life for the defense of our country to attain peace throughout the world. The fourth fold represents our weaker nature, for as American citizens trusting in God, it is to him we turn in times of war for his divine guidance. The fifth fold is a tribute to our country. For in the words of Stephen Decatur, our country in dealing with other countries, may she be right, but she is still our country, right or wrong. The sixth fold is where our hearts lie. It is with our heart that we pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The seventh fold is a tribute to our armed forces, for it is through the armed forces that we protect our country and the flag against all her enemies, whether they be found within or without the boundaries of our republic. The eighth fold is a tribute to the one who entered into the valley of the shadow of death, that we might see the light of day, and to honor mother for whom it flies on Mother's Day. The ninth fold is a tribute to womanhood, for it has been through their faith, love, loyalty, and devotion that the character of the men and women who have made this country great have been molded. The tenth fold is a tribute to father, for he too has given his sons and daughters for the defense of our country since they were first born. The eleventh fold in the eye of a Hebrew citizen 
represents the lower portion of the seal of King David and King Solomon and glorifies in their eyes the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The twelfth fold in the eyes of a Christian citizen represents an emblem of eternity and glorifies in their eyes God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. When the flag is completely folded, the stars are uppermost, reminding us of our motto, In God We Trust. After the flag is completely folded and tucked in, it takes on the appearance of a cocked hat, ever reminding us of the soldiers who served under General George Washington and the sailors and marines who served under Captain John Paul Jones, who were followed by their comrades and shipmates in the armed forces of the United States, preserving for us the rights, privileges, and freedoms we enjoy today.
As we bring our tribute to us, we would like to thank all of our vets and all of you who have come to help us celebrate these brave men. Would you please stand and sing with us this American classic, God Bless America. Thank you. 